had the worst week ever. I'm literally so fucking depressed right now. It's not even funny. I've just been stuck in my room all week. Haven't even gone to uni or work. I've been like binge eating grated cheese on my bed. I've got like the whole packet next to my bed and I'm just like shoveling it in. I'm just a fat fucking loser. (laughs) That was a fake cry, but I'm really, I have been crying heaps. And I'm like chain smoking my blueberry vape too. Like helps me when I'm sad. I've gone through like 20 of them. And I did my driver's license dance for Dorothy the maid and she goes, I don't get it. And I'm like, why are you being a bitch? I'm fucking depressed. And she goes, oh, you got boy issues. And I'm like, no, get out after you vacuum my room. Get out. Anyway, I'll explain everything after the intro bit. This week on Jamazing, passion cats, the language of farts, yoga with guinea pigs, chilies up your vagina, and living with thin lips. Your weekly dose of life advice from the girl power advocate, the North Shore's loosest unit. She puts the zing in Jamazing. I'm Jamay, J A apostrophe M I E. I'm young, white, hot, and I'm Jamazing. Dorothy, Dorothy, if you go shopping, can you buy me a vape, a blueberry one, or peach ice, don't get lychee. Um, so I want to tell you guys about why I'm depressed and what happened to make me depressed. And then I'll give you some tips on how to like manage it. So First of all, um, it's not a boy issue. I haven't seen a cock for like a week. It's because some bitch said something on my gram comments and it was really mean. So um, let me tell you the story. So like the other night, me and Amber, we went to this engagement party and um, it's this Christian girl, Lucy, that I know and it's like a sex before marriage thing. She's marrying this guy that looks exactly like it could be her brother, which is like I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is, but I don't know. Anyway, I usually avoid Christians, but she's like quiche and her family's really rich. Anyway, so I spray tan the fuck out of myself. Like I'm so brown. Um, I really want to look quiche because me and Amber were like on the prowl for cock. Anyway, I'm literally so brown. It's like borderline racial appropriation, but hot. And Amber takes this pic of me and like I face tune it and I upload it at the party to my gram. And I go hashtag quiche, hashtag tan, hashtag literally iconic, hashtag 10 out of 10 hot. And this dumb slut girl Bella from the year below at Hilford, who I hate, I don't even follow, she comments and she goes, more like 6 out of 10 hot at best. I was fucking devastated. Like I'm having like full flashbacks thinking about like literally I burst into tears and Amber's all like, what the fuck? Like what's going on? And I'm like, am I delusional Amber? But I feel like I'm currently like minimum 10 out of 10 hot. And well, and she's like fully agrees with me. And I'm like, well, why is this bitch saying I'm a six? And I'm like bawling at this stage. And the bride's mom's like, what's wrong? Cause it's during the speeches. And I'm like, this is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. And I'm like, I just grab my phone. I'm frantically like deleting the photo to get it off my gram. Um, And then I just full run out of the party. I was like inconsolable. And so like this bitch has triggered like a full week of clinical depression. Like this is the reason I'm like dev o as. So I can barely leave my room. I've lost so much confidence and belief in myself. I really, I hate that girl so fucking much. I got revenge by like starting this fake account as a dog and I've been like trolling her for a week as the dog. So yeah, it was just this random cute little fluffy puppy that I found online and I just, I knew she'd accept the request. And then I wrote all these like nasty comments under all the pics um, as the dog, like you fugly wolf wolf and like um, takes a dog to know a dog and yeah, I wouldn't even hump your leg because you're a five out of 10 height. And um, yeah, I really got her back. Um, yeah, but now I'm stressing cause I'm trying to keep up with the gram content to make the dog account seem real. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but yeah, I like that for me. Okay. I want to talk to you guys about my mental health journey and self-love guys. 
you have to learn to love yourselves. I literally love myself so much these days. Like I'm really into myself. But when I was like in year eight, like that was seriously such a bad time. Like I was such a wreck. Like I had no tits. I was like frizzy hair. Didn't get my period till I was like 17. I was like so fucking fat. And like that's when I lost my flexibility and I couldn't go down on myself. Then like I had my eating disorder and that's when my tits didn't grow. And um, yeah, that's why I had to get fakies um, when I was 18. Um, Yeah, so like picture this tall, like fat, like horsey face chick, no tits, dry frizzy hair, the thinnest lips in all of year eight. Like I was totally like known for it. Like I used to go down on guys and they said they couldn't even feel anything because my lips was, were that thin. Like seriously, like I got like too scared to pash guys because of my thin lips and it was the worst. Like I used to practice on my cat just like, you know, because similar lip size just to like work out how to do it, which was good. And yeah, I learned a lot from the cat. Then literally, oh my God, the heavens fucking opened. I got a GHD hair straightener, styled myself a Misha Button side pot. Seriously, started doing the 40-hour famine every week. My whole fucking life changed. That's all it took, guys. Seriously, I started to like take pride in myself and to love myself. Suddenly I was like hot and girls like, like who is that fucking hot slut? I'm so gel. Mom got me the modeling agent and yeah, I started sucking off guys in year 11, didn't even care about my thin lips. I, I just had confidence in myself. I loved myself finally. And this is what I'm telling you guys, self-love, get into loving yourselves. You should stand naked in front of your mirror every morning, girls, like just stand there and go, I fucking love myself. Like I do that every morning. I'll just stand naked like and I just go, you're hot, Shemay. You're hot. You're hot. I say it like 80 times. You are hot. You're hot. Um, Yeah, it's really good. Like 80 to 100 times. Um, Some other tips, guys. Um, Just stay healthy. Like eat well, sleep well. Um, Yeah, it's all about wellness. Um, Yoga. I do yoga. Um, I do it with my mom's guinea pigs. Like I'll just like put one on my lower back and just like do a downward dog and it's just like really helps like your balance and um yeah or like I'll just place a baby guinea pig like on my foot and just lift it up and um yeah it's really good for your core strength um sometimes they fall but it is what it is um yeah what else vitamins a plant-based diet is really good guys um, one tip I find really useful is placing a fresh chili, um, like a red one, inside your vagina or overnight. So you just like lube yourself up, slide it in, just leave it overnight, um, slip it out in the morning. Um, yeah, use it the next day in a chili con carne. That's fine. If you taste it in the dish, good. It's like, it's it's really good for you, trust me, guys. So people always go to me, Jemay, you seem so healthy and happy. Like when you've got to make decisions, like big stuff, do you listen to your heart, your brain or your gut? And I'm like always my gut. Always listen to your gut, guys. I'm really gassy and I find like, like, you know, um, like how mothers of babies hear like little whimpers, like from the babies and like little gurgles and they can understand that language and they know like every sound and what it means. I find my farts are like a language that only I can understand. So like each fart's telling me something. Um, yeah. And it's just like being in tune with that. Yeah. Like I find like, for example, if I was to go like, that means like probably stay in, watch Netflix. Whereas if I go, that's like probably go out clubbing, like time to socialize. So yeah, so it's like a really good language. Can I just say, has everyone noticed that I'm playing the flute in the theme music? Have you noticed it? How good is it? Just an FYI also if my lecturer is listening to, um, yeah, I know you are. Chuck us some extra marks for the floaty to tootie. I know, do less, you may. Um, so what else? My mum's got the fucking dryer going. Have some fucking consideration, bitch. Soz, guys, can you guys hear that? 
Anyway, I'm trying to ignore. So we've got the next segment, which is Ask Shamay. So um, this week's Ask Shamay is from this guy from Scotland with a really hot accent. Um, he's kind of an e-boy having like a rough trot at the moment. Just grab my laptop so you can have a listen to his message. Um, what advice would you give to someone who is struggling to go through a breakup? Um, okay. I would love your advice. Cool. I would Shut love up. to hear what your um, thoughts are on that. Yeah, I mean, he sounds hot. Um, okay, mate, you've come to the right place, Scottish guy. So I know all about breakups. Um, from my perspective, like, I usually dump the guys, so, like, they're devo and I'm not. Um, so I'll try and imagine what it's like for you. Um, the main thing to take away from a breakup is what is wrong with you, like, what could it be? Like, are you too fat? Um, small dick, boring banter, losing your hair, maybe like all things that you might want to address. Um, but yeah, like getting through that initial like heartbreak phase, I guess I can recommend like, um, getting into mindfulness and green smoothies, um, pampering yourself just generally pamper like face masks are good buy like 30 candles like have like them surrounding your bath and just like yeah just get in your bath play with yourself in the bath self-love's good self-love yourself for a while I reckon after a break um long walks are good post some of your step counts on your on your socials like um maybe get one of those like the watches that like track um, a map of where you walked and like go for a run like right past your ex's house and like post that map on socials like just to freak him out yeah like I think seeming a bit unhinged and like stalkery is always good I find um yeah just do random scary stuff like that get a revenge body that is really important so girls um you might want to put in some extra lip filler too um just like an eight mil injection maybe like really puff them out and um, send him a pic of that um, just so he can see what he's missing out on. Guys, maybe just like Botox the fuck out of your face. Um, maybe do your cock. Actually, no, don't do the cock because it's um, that would just paralyse it. Um, a lot of people after breakups like go hardcore at the gym. I don't because um, I'm a lazy bitch and I've got a naturally quiche body anyway. Um, if you can't be bothered working out like me, maybe consider having some ribs removed to really like define that waistline, like just a little surgical procedure. They just slip a couple of ribs out. Um, I've been looking into it and it's not that expensive. Um, yeah. Also with the ribs, like once they've taken them out, um, you can actually eat them after I've heard. Like in some cultures, like the whole family will like feast on a young girl's ribs after she's had them removed. It's like, yeah, I'd probably just give mine to the dog probs. Um, what else? Um, just passive aggressive references to him on social media. I always do that. Like just like reference his small cock, like, like a pic of you eating a banana and just like caption underneath going biggest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Like, yeah, he'll know. He'll know it's him. Um, I'm just remembering, um, that reminds me when I broke up with Sebastian, he was this younger man I dated when I was in year 10, he was in year seven. Um, I was so mad that he was cheating on me that I called his house and I like pretended to be a nurse. And I said, um, your dad's been in an accident. He's on life support. I'm just about to pull the plug. Yeah. And then I just hung up after that. Yeah. It really freaked him out, but it helped me. It helped me a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I hope that's been really helpful, mate. Like um, maybe just DM me and I can like give you some more thoughts. But of um, yeah, just take what you want from that advice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one more thing I just remembered is another idea is to start some false rumours about your ex. Like if it's a girl, you could say like she farts when she orgasms. Um a guy I dumped um, started that rumour about me, um, which was really bad. But it's actually true, so, yeah. So just some housekeeping updates to keep you guys in the loop. Um, my 21st party is back on. 
Gampy told dad that I apologised. Uh, so we're going to book the Randwick race course. i um, getting quotes on gold horses and nude waiters. Um, yeah. So I need a name for you guys, like my fans. And I'm thinking like, this is really random. And I'm thinking, Jamates. Is that lame? I don't know. Post some ideas of what you want to be called. I kind of like Jamates, TBH, but what else? Um, to all the bitches that are asking for personal birthday shout outs, I'm getting so many requests. It's so cool guys. But like, why the fuck would I do that? I have a life. No fucking way. I'll do a generic one now, but I'm not saying your names. Okay. Happy birthday, dumb slats. Hope you have a good one. Illy. Love you, May. Stay quiche. Okay. Stop fucking asking me. Okay. Um, Courtney told my parents about my only fan, so I've had to delete it. Um, yeah, they were really mad at me and they're like, we didn't raise you to be a porn star, Jemay. And I'm like so offended because I'm like, I'm so much hotter than a porn star. I'm like, have you seen my pussy? Anyway, that's been deleted. Oh, um, merch. I'm thinking of doing some merch. So can you guys like post ideas on my like Facebook or whatever about all the crap that you want? Um, someone's asking me for like um, just because I'm Keisha doesn't mean I'm lazy t-shirt or like um, more in the lips distracts from the hips um, mug someone wanted. Um, I kind of want to do those like um, car air freshener things with my like fat hat on them. I don't know. Tell me what you want, guys. Wait, I'm getting a fucking text from Amber. What? As if, bitch, she wants to go out. As if I'm clinically depressed, bitch. I'm not going out. I can't be happy. Wait. Oh, my God. She said she's got a bag. Actually, socializing could be good for me. Like, could turn my frown upside down. And the Coke should help, too. All right, bitch. What time? Send. <laughs> This week's worst moment of my fucking life. Literally kill me. So dad has given me a black label gym membership to encourage me to go to the fucking gym for my mental health. Um, I'm literally so insulted because A, I'm not even mental and B, you're basically calling me fat. Like I just ran upstairs crying. It was so bad. And like seriously, dad, you obviously know I'm quiche because all your workmates want to root me. Like, whenever they come over, they can't take their eyes of me. It's like Orky's ass. So why do I need a fucking gym membership? I'm quiche already. It's such a kick in the guts while I'm down. Also, real older men being into me, I totally reckon my dad was into me too at one stage. He'd give me these, like, lingering looks. Like, I'd be in the kitchen, like, having a Coke Zero and a croissant, like, minding my own business. And I'd look up over the can and I'd catch my dad just, like, staring at me in, like, a creepy way. And I'm like, are you right? It was obvious he wanted me. You can always tell when a guy's horny. That's it, guys. I'm going out tonight, so i got to go get ready, clean out the noise, etc. Um, I've got links in the show notes if you guys legit need help with the mental health thing, so please check them out. You're all my jamates, and I worry about you. Um, send in your Ask Jamais. Um, Don't try and slut shame me in the comments, guys, or I'll troll you with a fake dog account. Have the best week ever, guys. Love you so fucking much. Stay quiche. Bye-bye.